Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as I said by the title, we'll be doing my monthly favorites. I'm so excited because, I don't know, <laughs> it's a new year. This is my first favorites of the whole year. Um, I'm so pumped about it. So last year I basically posted a month of favorites every single month and I loved it and I know you guys loved it. So um, we're gonna keep it going. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, I definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button because I do them every month. And without further ado, let's just get started. Well, this is one of the few monthly videos that I do do. I do do monthly favorites, monthly makeup haul, so I haul all the products that I got in that month, and then I do my ipsies. So those are basically the three that I do every month. So if any of those like took your fancy, then come on over, stay a while. Um, this month, just a quick, dis like not disclaimer, but just a heads up. This month, I've been really loving to rotate my collection. I've been loving to switch out and you know try new things and stuff like that. And so, really, nothing, not nothing. There are a few categories where nothing, I didn't pick anything. That's because it's been my favorite to just rotate through them. And so, um, like my eyeshadow palettes, I've been loving just picking an eyeshadow palette and using it for one day or whatever. I have so many new ones that I just don't know I've used once and that's it. And so I'm trying to rotate through them way better. And so I've been loving doing that. And so this is like a smaller favorite to be well, although there's a lot of products here. There's a lot from certain categories, you know? And so um, obviously we'll talk about them. Um, I think that's it. First things first is face primer. I've been obsessed with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. I literally use it every single day. I use it even if I'm using another primer, I use this because I just, I love it. Sometimes it's like a second moisturizer. It feels so good on the face and it's transformed my makeup like to where I just love wearing makeup all the time. And not that I never did, but sometimes it was hit or miss. I was like, well, what if it doesn't look good today? You know what I mean? This just has really like made me a little bit more confident, honestly. And I have been obsessed with it. Um, I definitely have to find a drugstore dupe because there's no way I will be buying this again. Um, but I did get it in my Ipsy. That's why I have it. And so I love it. It had, it, you know, this is one of those products that people hyped up on YouTube for a really good reason, honestly. It's a really great product. And if you have it and it's been sitting in your collection or you got an Ipsy, you don't know if you want to use it, just try it, girl. It is very hyped up for a very, very good reason. It's really good. <laughs> um, I've also been obsessed with the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. It, this literally, like, if I didn't have, like, not if I didn't have to because it's not like I necessarily have to but I have to because you know I don't want other products to go to waste but if I didn't have to um like rotate my products I literally use this every single day I'm wearing it today um I've been, I wore it ever since I got it basically because I've been loving it that much it is so good it does a little the thing is that what I love about it is that it also like it makes your makeup last and you know like it's tacky it has that sticky feeling to it but it brings your skin something a little extra you can see like how juicy the back of my hand just looks and I love that. It has that in the face and I just, I love that. And that's what I love about it so much is that it's not like necessary, necessarily illuminating or glowy, but I guess more glowy, but it's not necessarily illuminating. It's not like shimmery, shiny or anything like that, but it just picks the skin up. Like it gives it a little oomph. It's a little bit more brightening and like, um, awakening on the face. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good and I love it. And I 10 out of 10 recommend if you guys want to try it. If you're like, people are hyping it up right now. No, it's really good. It's really good. Like I love it 10 times more than I love the Milk Hydro Grip because I feel like the Milk Hydro Grips does, the point of the Milk Hydro Grip is to make your makeup last longer. And so that's what it does. And so that's fine and whatever if you're into that. But this, whoo, brings the skin to life. It's one of my favorites. This combination, y'all, I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing it today. My skin looks so well. Um, I'm wearing a lot of these products today. Um, and then, next is foundation. Neither of these are actually technically foundations, are they? I don't know, but either way. First, of course, is the Wet n Wild Photo uh, Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, the Tinted Skin Veil. So, usually what happens is when I get a new foundation, I use it like once or twice, and then I go back to my favorites. Well, that has not been happening. I've been using my tears every single day. I've been using it a lot, a lot, a lot. I've been trying to force myself to rotate my foundations. So, like, I can't use it as much as possible. But, I mean, as much as I want. But I want to wear it all the time. I freaking love this foundation. I'm wearing it today. It just looks so good. And I love that it's, like, medium coverage. It's more coverage than, you know, it's, it's medium coverage. Let's just go with that. It's medium coverage. And I love that it still like just lets skin live a little. And I don't like if you look at me like obviously you know the dramatic eye and the lot of blush, the bold lip. It makes me look like I have a lot of makeup on. But you take all that away, and my skin just looks like skin. I mean, my foundation just looks like skin, and I love that. And it just looks um, like natural. You know, if I just wanted to wear medium coverage foundation to go to the grocery store, the thing is that of course you'd be able to tell I have makeup on because I wouldn't just leave that foundation. 
but um it this looks like natural it doesn't look like oh why is she wearing like a full face of makeup to like the store you know what i mean there's so many like medium coverage foundations that are just heavy and they look like a lot of makeup this doesn't and i love that it's so beautiful and i really love the finish of it too I wear a lot of, you know, like I wear the Bobbi Brown, the hydrating stuff underneath, and so it does make it a little bit more hydrating. Um, but the, like, I think I said, what does it say? You know, it says for a flawless, softly luminous complexion on the end, at the um, end of this, it says for healthy looking, supple, moisturized skin, which I totally agree with, but I think it said like a demi matte finish or something like that, which I don't think it's demi matte. I think it's a little bit more like this, said, like a healthy looking finish. So I really love this. So good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's only like five bucks. Um, yes, honey. Um, and then I've also been loving for like my more glam days, the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Now, I go back and forth with this. Like, I feel like part of me doesn't want to like it. And I don't, and it, because it seems like so out of my comfort zone, you know? If they come out with a hydrating version, I'm sure it would be my like Holy Grail foundation. Because, well, okay, my Holy Grail like glam foundation. Because it is more of a heavier, like a, um, a higher coverage, if you will. So there's a lot of coverage to it. And I really, really do like that from time to time. Like when I'm going bold, big, bold, and beautiful. And so it's such a good foundation. And so I really, really do like it. And it doesn't look heavy or anything like that. It looks, you know, it looks like makeup. That's end of the day, it looks like makeup. But it doesn't look like too much. Like the Too Faced Born This Way um, uh, foundation, to me that looks like too much. It's just too much coverage. It looks like, you know, it's just heavy on the face. This doesn't do that. And so that's why I really have been li liking it. I've been really obsessed with it. And um, again, I, I feel like, you know, I don't want to like it because it says full coverage, natural finish, you know? And that doesn't seem like me. I like light coverage, glowy finish, hydrating finish, whatever. And so, but I do like it. So I'm telling you that I like it. <laughs> I'm admitting that I like it. Um, next is concealer. I've been talking for a long time already. For concealer, again, I have two. So, like, you can see for primer, I have two. Foundation, I have two. Concealer, I have two. And then, like, the products will start to dwindle down from there. Um, obsessed with the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I sat this. I even forgot to count this in my makeup inventory, my yearly inventory, last year because it was sitting in my new drawer for dumb long. It was just sitting there chilling for mad long. Um, couldn't tell you why because this is so freaking bomb. I'm so glad that I finally used it. The applicator sucks. I hate that thing. Like, I wish it was a doe foot because the product is so bomb. But, like, this is, like, kind of is nasty. I, I don't mean, I don't personally care. I'm the only one using it. But, like, it kind of is gross. Anyway, I freaking love, absolutely love this found, um, this concealer. It looks, look, I'm wearing it today. My under eyes look so healthy. So, like, voluptuous and juicy and fresh. I look young and... I'm about it. <laughs> not that I'm not the same old in any way, shape, or form. I am young, but you know, I, I, you know what I mean. Like sometimes, you know, your under eyes can be the thing that gives your age away, basically, or the thing that makes you look older. And this just really freaking takes all of that away. It's so bomb, and I love the way it looks. It never looks creasy, crinkly, or um, dry or anything like that. Oh, so bomb. I've been also really loving the Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer. I feel like the difference being between the thing between these two is just that this is a little bit more um coverage has a little bit more coverage i really like this one too i say like they're like both a medium coverage this is a lighter medium this is a heavier medium if you will so um i feel like you know depending on what you want and this one also feels a little bit more lightweight it's a little bit thinner of a product and so Um, it feels a little bit thinner of a product because it is a thinner product and so it kind of goes like to where it, it kind of goes down to your preferences i really love them both like i wouldn't i want to repurchase i will repurchase both of them probably because i really really love them that much but this one is a little bit feels a little bit more lightweight because it is a little bit more lightweight it's a little bit lighter of a coverage but it's still a good amount of coverage for being just a brightening concealer you would think there's no coverage to it but there's a good amount of coverage to it it just really like takes the under eyes to the next level and i freaking love this this is probably i think you know i've never tried it but i'm sure it's supposed to dupe the Tarte Glow Wand or whatever, where it kind of just gives a little bit of coverage, but really is meant for brightening. And this is probably what that's for duping because it seems like the same product. So I don't know, but really love them both. Enough said. Drugstore has been killing it. My I add. Um, the only I think the only like real high end product is this next one in setting powder. This is the Complex Culture Set Go Translucent Setting Powder. I have the shade Clarity. So it says ultra refined, fine line, and poor blowing finishing powder. And I, that could not, nothing has ever been more true to 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 the product that is in it's my hands. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. The reading, like what it says is so freaking true about this product. I'm wearing it again with my, wow, I really hope someone's okay. I really hope they are all okay. 
that's freaking scary. Sometimes those go off though, and they're just like kind of testing it out. It'll go off for like 30 seconds, or, like, a, okay, not 30 seconds. It'll go off for a few seconds, and then it'll turn right off, and then that's all you'll hear for the rest of the day. And they're just kind of like, I guess, testing them. But like sometimes, like this, they just don't stop, and you're like, oh my gosh, I hope everyone's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, this is so blurring. Oh my gosh, it's just freaking, I'm wearing it today again. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing, how am I gonna say that? And it freaking just, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you because I'm so excited. It just blurs the area so well, so smooth, literally perfection. This is so expensive though. So literally, if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. The Elf Halo Glow is a really, really great drugstore option. But if you wanna try a new setting powder, this is so good. It literally just, boom, transforms your makeup, and I live for it. Especially when you're using someone like me who loves a lot of glowy, hydrating products. You want something that's gonna set your makeup, but also not take away all the work you just put in, getting all the glow and the hydration. And that's what I love about this, is that it does everything you want. It sets your makeup, but it lets it live a little, and then it also doesn't add any powderiness to it, which sometimes, you know, like the Elf Halo Glow from time to time, looks like you have powder on. But at the end of the day, you're gonna need a setting spray, you're gonna need whatever, all the products work together, and that's fine. I'm totally okay with that, because I love that product. But this one just doesn't, and so it's a little bit better. You know, it's a little bit, better if you will um i don't know if i use this up i don't know how i repurchase it because it's expensive but i do really 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 love it if you can get it at, 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 if you can get it through ipsy definitely would try i know compost culture is in ipsy a lot so if you can get it in ipsy i would try but you know if not it's okay again for bronzer i've been rotating so i really just don't have a favorite um for blush though i've been obsessed with the shana b miami blush and highlight palette i almost didn't mention this but I wore it today and I was like, yes, it absolutely is a favorite. I just am obsessed with the two bottom, it's just the two bottom shades, quite honestly. This, them mix together is literally like absolute perfection on my face. And I just love the tone, I love the shade, I love everything about it. The formula is blendable, buildable, everything about the... Everything about this formula is truly fantabulous, and um, I slept on it. You know, I don't love the highlighter too. The, this is a highlighter. This is like probably a blush topper or something. I don't know, but I don't like those as much. You know, this is not bad, but it's not something I reach into this palette for. Just these two blushes, man, are the best, and they are ugh, such so beautiful. If I have another opportunity to get Shana B Miami in any of my Ipsies, I definitely will take it because this product is so good and rocked my world. Rocked my world. But again, you know, all these blushes that I have are the same shade, the same everything. <laughs> so, you know, everyone's kind of perfected the blush formula. And so it's hard to pick a favorite because, you know, it's just really just depends on what brand you want to use at this point. Um, but this one, because it was newer to my collection, it was like a new found love. I thought I'd mention it. Highlighter though, I you know I love my Ofra highlighters and those will never not be a favorite. I mention them probably every month, but I've been really freaking, oh my gosh, the uh, uh, Koki Soft Glow Highlighter in the shade Heavenly. Wow. Um, It is a cream, so it's a creamier product here and it just freaking melts into the skin. Okay, I gotta stop saying freaking. It just melts into the skin so well. Look how beautiful the back of my hand looks, man. Look at it. It looks so good, so juicy. Wow. Oh my gosh. It just melts into the skin and it makes your skin look so good, but it looks so much, so natural. And it really is a soft glow highlighter. And I love that about it. Love the product. Would recommend. The thing I hate, literally the thing I hate about Koki and Catrice is that they're not like, you know, you can probably walk into any store. Nine times out of 10, you're going to walk into a drugstore and you're going to find Elf. And honestly, it's probably 10 times out of 10. There are very few places that you go and Elf is not. very few drugstores that you walk into and elf is not elf is everywhere wet and wild it's probably everywhere um elf is probably the one that's everywhere for real for real and so it sucks about cookies you can only get it at Rite Aid and I hate recommending it because it's like you have to go to the specific store or order it online so I hope that they both go to I think Catrice is, yeah Catrice is at Ulta but still not all their products and it's just not as easy to get as some of the other brands so I wish that they like kind of spread their wings a little bit but um, they're so good. So Koki for sure, if you guys can get it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. But also the Catrice Morning Glow Highlighter in the shade, shade Supreme Rose Beam. Again, you can get it at Ulta. But I don't even know, can, is Catrice at, maybe I'm picturing CoverGirl. I don't even think you can get Catrice in stores. Maybe a few stores, but again, I don't know, maybe like Walmart or something. Like there's certain brands that are just at certain stores and I hate that. Like just go to all the stores, please. Anyway, I love this highlighter. Again, it's one of those that just melts into the skin, but it's a little bit icier, so it's a little bit... 
less natural you can see but they're both like just that glow from within and you can see it on my face today i'm wearing this one and it just looks so nice and i love that it's a little bit more icy because you know when i do looks like this they're a little bit more icy it just looks a little bit prettier and it pulls everything together and i think my skin just looks so good and so healthy it doesn't look like oh my gosh she's wearing like tons of highlighter it looks healthy and i love that and you can see right here oh my gosh just look how like alive i look i look so happy and it just it's all the highlighter baby all the highlighter obsessed with those two i need to i don't think i'll buy buying any more highlighters honestly um but the problem i'm having is buying foundation concealer and primer those three i'm like i want so much but i have so many so i don't know what to do y'all i don't know what to do i want there's literally like four foundations that i want right now yeah <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, we have lips here. So setting spray, I've been rotating pretty well. Brows, kind of just so-so. Mascara, honestly, has been like so-so. Um, kind of rotating through them, kind of seeing what I like and stuff. Eyeliner, I always, 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 always love my Sephora Colorful Lip Story. I'm sorry, my Colorful. Wow. Sephora Grand Contour. Contour Eye Pencil, yes, in the shade um, Tiramisu. You guys know I love it. I'm wearing it today. It's absolutely one of my favorites. I love the formula as well. But um, for lips, we have three kind of lip balms. And so I've been so excited because I love lip balms so much. But these are so good. So first and foremost, probably my favorite, um, you know, balm in general ever is the, um, I don't even know what brand this is. I don't know. It's the Bath and Body Works one. It comes in this little thing, but it's called My Favorite Night Balm. And so it's an eight-hour overnight recovery. It's supposed to be at night. I don't wear it overnight. I just put it in my pocket, in my coat pocket. And I literally, literally wear it every time I need some chapstick it's such a thick like thicker kind of texture and it's a little bit more of a stickier kind of thing but it just feels so good on the lips and honestly if you wanted to wear it just for night it feels so good and so moisturizing your fit lips feel so freaking bomb after wearing this and i love it it is so good so juicy absolutely favorite and i usually don't mention like things random things like this but i wanted to tell you because i love it that much so if you see it at Bath and Body Works, if they have a deal, whatever, I would try to get it. It's like hair mist. Sometimes you can get it at Bath and Body Works. Sometimes you can't. Like they randomly like will take away all their lip balms. I don't know what they do. Um, so hair or mist, but if you can find it, I would recommend. Um, I've also been really loving the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Pumping Lip Gloss in the shade Princess Cut. I believe that is this one. Yeah, Princess Cut. I love this so much. I do have a mini guide here, which I think, you know, if you really want any of these lip glosses, you don't know what shade or whatever, get the little mini set. I think it's so worth it. You know, I ended up decluttering two of those colors, but I kept two of them and I love it so much, but I don't feel like I'm wasting the product because I'm never going to go through a full one of these. And so I really love the mini guide here. It is the same kind of thing where it's a little bit stickier of a balm. Um, it's nothing like super thin or whatever. But this has the plump, plumping aspect to it that I freaking love. It is a little bit stickier of a gloss. You can see this one right here. Um, it is a little bit stickier, but it's so plumping, so good. It feels so good on my lips. I love this one as a lip balm as well. But because I, the reason why I love it so much too is because when I don't, when I want a little bit more than just a lip balm, you know, I want something a little bit like more plumping. I want to look like I'm alive, girl. I want to look like I didn't just wake up. <laughs> so I love this. I love it. It just makes my lips so, so good. feels so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, last, I know we've been here all day. We've been here for a long time, girl. Last but not least, we have the Catrice Powerful Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Raspberry Cream. I freaking love this as well. It's such a good lip balm. I don't even know where to put it. Let's put it down here. Now this one does have some pigment to it. I don't think they have a clear shade or else I probably would've got that one, but here it is right here. I love it though because it is kind of like a Your Lips with a Better color. It doesn't really, it doesn't really like put down too much pigment. You can see once you blend it out, and so I really, really love that. It just feels so freaking good on the lips. It's so bomb. This is a little bit thinner than the other two. So if you don't like a thicker gloss, this one's a little bit thinner and it has that color to it. So there's a difference there, but it doesn't, obviously it doesn't last as long as the lips because it's a little bit thinner. So it absorbs a little bit easier into your lips. I'm talking a lot. Anyway, <laughs> it feels so good. And um, it made my lips, I wore it the one day and I put on my mask, you know, I wore it for work and I was like doing a wear test or whatever. And it freaking, my lips, I didn't need chapstick for the entire day. And I freaking love that, you know, when you don't feel like your lips are like, oh, help me, <laughs> you know, when you feel like they feel good and you want to just apply to reapply, that's what this product is. And so I really, really do love that. It really gets into the skin. It has five, um, five paths. Five things. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, shea butter, green tea, and goji berry. And I think all those ingredients really just help the lip, lips feel so good. And it smells, it has a nice smell to it. It has a clean smell to it. Not like, yeah, like a clean smell. <laughs> and so I really, really love that. All right, so 
again like some categories i'm going ham on foundation i need to like i want need to freaking tie myself i need to hide my credit card i don't know but it's already logged into all my stuff i don't know what i need to do because i need to not buy freaking three more foundations um but i really want the catrice one i really want the essence one i really want the sephora one and then i really want the physician's formula one all four of those babies i want so bad so i don't know and then i want the new hourglass concealer the mini guy um but i want to try that but you know i don't know anyway for today is happiness is the new rich inner peace is the new success health is the new wealth kindness is the new cool that's it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye guys